we're joined by Charles Stanley director Elisa Bayer. Elisa, well, first of all, let's just go back to basics as far as this goes. Why is this merger necessary for Prudential? Well, Prudential already owns a sizable amount of um, its earnings outside of the UK, and this will push it from 40% to over two-thirds of its earnings. So it's a very big deal. I think the new chief executive wants to make his mark. They failed last year in getting this, and now they're going through. But there are a lot of questions being asked, which was why the Prudential price yesterday was so weak. And, in fact, the deal is underwritten, but shareholders will be allowed to participate. And a lot of shareholders are saying Prudential share price really has been very weak over the past year do they want to put in any more money yeah would you uh, I'm not a prudential shareholder but I'm just saying if you were <laughs> no I haven't well I haven't been for some time and I think this deal will push it and at this new level I think it may have attractions but it certainly hasn't had for the past 18 months and if you have been an investor it's been weak it's like a snake swallowing a cow this one in some respects isn't it and do you think that the price that uh, the chief executive who says it's a fair one is getting it right uh, I think he may have done a good deal but the answer is you haven't really seen the figure work and you need to see a prospectus and I think the analysts will pour over that and that's why there's a lot of dubious um, thought yeah. about the offer that's what I want to get to as well because we yes. can't say if it's a good or bad one because we Don't know, know. We, we know that last time they tried to take over AIA it probably had a rather toxic balance sheet question is is it clean now is what I think you're trying to get at yeah and it it's, I mean, it's a huge deal for the Peru, but I mean, it's going to push it into all those Asian markets. It's not only China, it's Thailand, Malaysia, the Philippines. I mean, it's very, very sizable. Transformational, as they put it. <laughs> it is, but it's all on how um, the Asian economies are going to move it forward and how significant they are. So actually, if they were to prove any less significant, it would be a problem. It's a huge bite for the Peru. OK, let's also talk about uh, S&P. They put, sort of, it's on credit watch, negative now, um, Prudential. That's not going to help it much in terms of raising this money, surely? It's a difficult thing the offer is in fact underwritten but it is the sovereign debt um, companies countries who are going to come in and help it the Singapore's the China's and they actually look very interested and it's interesting they still have an appetite for that sort of thing although they have of course lost money sovereign in the past. Wealth funds, we should say yeah yes okay but they have lost money in previous financial deals so the fact they're all coming back in shows how keen they are I think UBS was one of them where they some of them have lost money still uh, let's just take a look at um, you know uh, the the, the prudential here and how it'll become a global play in essence and that's what we're aiming for it'd be probably number one or number two in virtually every one of its markets in Asia with this deal if it goes through and it's taking the jewels from AIG I mean AIG need to reduce its debt it's a good deal from there so that's why the share price was up yesterday it won't help them <laughs> write it all off but it will be a significant help and also they'll have an interest going forward so from that point of view it's good but for the prudential it's a big bite and that you know one has to look at and the paperwork isn't through it could be an even bigger one if sterling continues to fall and one of the reasons people are saying sterling's been dropping is primarily because of this as well well partly that and partly politics but yeah. it's the biggest thing that's happened and I mean for UK it's a significant you know so for a UK company it's a significant debt and I think also for the chief executive you want to make your mark this is it certainly doing that <laughs> uh, bankers uh, investment bankers M&A bankers will be chomping at the bit with this one yeah it's about four or five of them Credit Suisse are in their UBS which is uh, their Dental advisors are not in there, so they must be upset. But I mean, you're talking about a billion dollars of fees, so again, very good from their point of view. Yeah. And they can't lose. <laughs> <laughs> they can't. Yeah, all lawyers. <laughs> the two classes. Thank you very much indeed, Elisa Bay there from Charles Stanley.